Hey my beauties, morning to you. All right, beautiful people. We do accept the reality, the fact that we were all born in sin and shaped in iniquity. So we all have fallen short of the glory of God. We all have made mistakes. We all have done wrong. You know, we all have displeased God and, you know, just not been the kind of human being that would be pleasing in terms of our characteristics in his sight the fruits that we would exude on a day-to-day -day basis we all have broken some sort of you know spiritual law and even natural laws of this earth however one of the things that i fervently and vehemently advocate and believe in and is a part of my mantra is that we are not all bad and as such we're not going to fall in every and any kind of sin all around it would therefore mean that we all break all of the the laws all the commandments in every way you know what i'm saying and it um you know they have this saying that they say if you break one you break all no let us let us dissect that a little bit i understand where they're coming from you know it's not a matter of breaking per se the the, the literal ten commandments it's just about breaking the laws of god but we all want to do the same things so you won't find everyone being a thief you won't find everyone committing murder. You won't find everyone uh, breaking the Sabbath. Those things, you know, I'm just calling different things. You won't find everyone being covetous and so on. And one of my daily prayers is, to God is that I say, Lord, anything that I do good, it's because of you. There's, you know, um, the flesh is no good. I am no good in my natural state without you. But with you, I can do all things, you know, um, because of Christ Jesus, I can do all the right things. There are some things that I've always asked God from ever since, you know, before Christianity and so on, you know, that I don't want to be a thief. Just like Lemuel, uh, Lemuel, his name was in the Bible, I think somewhere in the book of Proverbs, where he mentioned that he doesn't want to be too rich or too poor because if, he was too, if he's too rich, he will forget God sort of a situation. And if he's too poor, he will disgrace the name of God, you know, because he might steal and whatnot. Um, I think Kim, King Lemuel or something like that. I need to look back at his name. Notwithstanding, I, there are some things that I say, Lord, help me not to do that's my personal prayer on a general and a, I wouldn't say every single day, but frequently. I don't want to be a thief, scammer, chopper, you know what I mean. All the things that relate to that. And, you know, he has been answering my prayer. I don't want to cause discord and, uni and disunity, especially intentionally. Because sometimes you may say something and somebody may hear it wrong and it ends up causing that. But I'm talking about intentionally. So that is why I stay away from gossip. I stay away from rumor you know evil propaganda and these things i stay away from those things in terms of my sexuality my fervent belief is that god made man for woman woman for man so i've always been from before me born till no one until the day i die and even after that i will always be a hetero sexual meaning woman to man not the other types of lifestyle you know I am not a part of that I don't want I've seen where it has caused a lot of destruction you know but that's my personal prayer so not to be a thief not to cause discord and unity disunity or spread propaganda rumor you know these false things on people um, in terms of God's way as it relates to sexuality God's way only always uh, what else can I think of oh definitely never ever to dabble in necromancy obia witchcraft that magic white whatever they, they're all different you know um occultism no no mm -mm. Ab no 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 absolutely not and i hope you know not to commit like physical literal murder you know what i mean um yeah those are the things uh, and to be covetous jealous in a malignant way or bad man you know or envious in a malignant or malicious way i said god please keep these things away from me i mean i don't want to commit any infractions but, but we're all we're all frail we're all flawed we're all blemished you know we will slip up from time to time you know there are things that you know i would have probably done that i regret 
because you know we name human being we name human being and we cannot get away from that but you say those things that i tell you i said lord please keep me from them and from before me born till to know until now he has been answering that prayer prayer favorably and i know he will continue to do so until the end he perfects us until the very end that's a prayer that i put before god and you too can do the same because we live in a very broken world we live in a very dark world the bible talks about spiritual wickedness it talks about principalities powers we're talking about evil powers rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places their tears to these things that is why you know when you hear them talk about necromancy white magic black magic obia witchcraft and um, occultism and all this they, they fall under some of these umbrellas you know some things are slightly different from the other there's a reason why they have the, the same name but they still fall under the umbrella the pool of satan and his cohorts you know that's my personal prayer i said lord please let me not there's certain infractions you know people let me not make you let me make you understand the depth there's certain misconducts infractions offenses wrongdoings unlawful whether spiritually unlawful or naturally unlawful or they work in tandem that the, the destruction that they create not only affects you personally but it affects the lives of your families and friends in their paths that's the thing that people don't understand that is part and parcel why the bible talks about generational curses falling to the third and fourth generations of those who are rebellious and there's some things that you cannot afford to affect your children and grandchildren they may say they have every top every bottom up has to sit on its own tub you have to be very careful in just speaking that way just willy-nilly in the absolute I'm sure one of the most painful things to any parent you know good or bad is to see that your child is not successful they're not doing well he or she's not doing well it's almost like crosses just stick onto them like their skin like the tissues on their in their bodies you know the, the ligament in your body the blood in your body the water in your body it sticks to them tighter than glue than tar on a ground than cement with with gravel sand you know and um, water in the hot boiling Sun we have to think about these things so that is why it is very imperative to pray and to say God keep me away from you when when David prayed and said keep me away from evil it doesn't mean that he won't make mistakes but there are just some things that are sinister that are literally devilish you know when you look at the word slander a lot of people use the word slander and say you're slandering a man by by saying you're telling lies on him or you're, you're embarrassing him no slander is actually sometimes you're speaking truth but you're doing with doing it with evil intent your your purpose is to destroy the human being god will beat you because you know why if you check the greek i think or hebrew meaning of the word slander the original meaning of it slander means devilish devilish so when you slander so sometimes you hear people they're they're speaking the truth about somebody you know but they're doing it with evil intent you know that if you go and tell somebody about whatever it is that's going on with someone and you're doing it because you want to destroy their lives your intent in your heart because you know your own heart that you want them to suffer you want them to come down you want to tear them right down bring them down below the ground god is going to beat you i mean in a look the beating that you get maybe satan himself ball for you if he can cry the beating that you're going to get maybe satan himself will ball for you i said stop now god do that's how bad it's going to be for many of you the fate because you're you're, you're intentionally evil and you practice it on a daily basis yeah man so we can thwart the plans of the enemy we can change things make your daily prayer lord keep me from evil keep me from lies deceit falsehood pretense I say lord me no want thief scam chop whatever you want to call it me no want i want to only my sexual misconduct if me slip make it be with a man only it has always been that way from before me born till now I don't want to commit I don't want to do nothing like iniquity in terms of um obia necromancy or cold loss. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Murder. Mm -mm. 
Discord on. Guys, follow me on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel.